Hey, Joanna. Um, it's me. And uh, I want to take this time to tell you how much I love you and happy birthday. Um, I sent you a quote a while back, and, and I want to base um, this video off of that. And, uh, it's from Dr. Seuss. Uh, and it says, you know you're in love and you can't sleep because your reality is better than your dreams. And uh, every single day, uh, my reality is better than anything I could have ever dreamed of. And uh, you're the reason for that. Uh, you love me unconditionally, flaws and all. Uh, you're graceful. You're intelligent. Beautiful. And, uh, I just want you to know that I love you, and a lot of people love you as well. So, uh, what I've done is I've gathered a bunch of people together to record themselves, tell them happy birthday, and how much they love you. And uh, I hope you enjoy. You mean a lot to a lot of people, especially me. So, happy birthday, baby, and uh, I hope you enjoy. Hey, well, I decided to go out for a run today. It's been raining for a few days, and we finally had a break in the weather, and I thought it would be a good time. Well, I got one mile in, and look at it. started raining all over again. But I didn't quit. I kept going. And three and a half miles later, I finished. You know, the whole way I was thinking about you, Joanna. I was thinking about how determined you are. I was thinking about how you never stop, how you never quit, how you're a go-getter. You are amazing, and I love you, gal. Happy birthday. I'm Joe Kinsley, <clears throat> sitting here at the world-renowned Velvet Lounge. Um, I've been asked to speak a little bit about one Joanna Hensley. What do I think of Joanna? Hi, Joanna. Hey, Joanna. Just wanted to wish you a happy birthday, and we wish we could be there with you. We miss you a lot. Hey, Joe girl. Happy 29th birthday. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Joanna. Joanna. Happy 29th birthday, Joanna. Joanna. Happy birthday. Hey, Joanna. Uh, I'm so glad that you are my friend and I uh, missed you a lot. Can we see you again when you come down and see us? And I hope you have the happiest of happy birthdays. Happy 29th. <laughs> happy birthday, Joanna. Birthday, Joanna. October 30th, this day in history. Joe! 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 Alright, so your amazing boyfriend told us to make these awesome videos. And um, I got super excited. Love him, by the way. Can't wait to be at the wedding. Zach Hensley, Charleston State. Happy birthday, sis. Hey Joe, I'm just sitting here in the middle of God's country, Stillwater, Oklahoma, thinking about you and wishing you and wanting to wish you a very happy birthday. I love you. 1919 Baseball League President's Call for the Abolishment of the Spitball. Hi, um, Victor and Kelsey recording our answers for Joanna's video. Hey, there's nothing normal about Joanna. You know, you were just an experiment. We saw other people have kids, you know, and raise them, and so Dad and I just thought, you know, hey, maybe we can do this, so. 1974, Nolan Ryan throws the fastest recorded pitch to date at 100.9 miles per an hour. Beautiful, talented, comical Joanna. We can't really believe you've been around for 29 years. Oh, well, that didn't sound very good, did it? Uh, happy birthday, first of all. I just wanted to say I'm so very thankful for you. I did not expect to have somebody come into my life who's so encouraging and wonderful and hilarious, of course. <laughs> the first word that comes to mind when I think of Joanna is fierce. And she has the most amazing wardrobe. I was always amazed how she would come put together to school every day when I walked in looking like a bum. Joanna, you're the queen of high heels. So what do you think? Do you think these will work for tonight? Do you think Paul will think they're sexy? Because when I grow up, Joanna, I want to be just like you. High heels and all. Happy birthday. 1945, U.S. government announces the end of shoe rationing. Thank God, because 70 years later, 
You have more shoes than the Holocaust Museum. I don't know what else to say except I think you would make a good president of the Philippines because they like lots of shoes down there. If I were to compare her to a president, <laughs> I would say potential president Hillary Clinton. When I think of Hillary, I think of someone who commands the room, who is respected, and who is a leader. And those are all words I would use to describe Joanna. So I think you'd make a good president of the United States. Be better than Hillary, anyhow. Sorry if you don't like Hillary. <laughs> but I think certain characteristics you can be compared to her. Um, I don't know what your stance is on that, so forgive me if you don't like her. I would have to say John F. Kennedy. He had grand dreams. He was confident. He was a man of the people. He put together a team so that he could make these dreams come true. They had a great plan, and they were able to make our dreams as an American people come true. Joanna. Girl, shoot for the moon. JFK did, and he made it. Dream big, girl. If I had to compare Joanna to any president, I'd probably pick Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> uh, mainly for the fact that there are a lot of similarities in the way that they let their faith and convictions drive them and all their decisions. And I really respect Joanna and all her faith and the way that she leads her life. You know, like, how many people can you say have had multiple careers and done well in all of them? Not many. But uh, Ronald Reagan was one of those, and you're one of those people. I have actually Googled a list of redheaded presidents. <laughs> so she's like eight presidents rolled into one. Um, if I had to pick, I'm going to go with George Washington because he's arguably everybody's favorite, and Joy is kind of a trendsetter. <laughs> uh, I picked George Washington because he's ginger and super tall, like Joanna. Only thing you need is a few lawyer, you need a pen, you need a phone. You got Buckley already, first dog, and you, uh, you got a good dad for balls and stuff <laughs> like that. And the same thing about the oil wrestling, just deny, deny, deny. <laughs> Happy birthday. So in Judge Hensley's courtroom, there will not be a normal gavel. Joanna will use the gavel which supports the ironclad truth. Change approved! My most memorable Joanna moment, I think, would have to be when she told me about oil wrestling. <laughs> deny, deny, deny. I mean, it was like a movie, and it's one of the greatest stories I think I've ever heard, hands down. Deny, deny, deny. <laughs> but uh, we are so very, very proud of you. You've always been a great daughter, an awesome student. You've always been a great athlete, uh, and one of my favorite things was always watching you play volleyball. Not like in seventh grade, but you know, later on. But anyway. I couldn't, I couldn't have imagined going through grad school without you. I mean, all the um, things you taught me, I don't know. <laughs> Cover letters, I don't know, you, uh, you helped me grow up, and um, I can't thank you enough for all the love and long talks and uh, I don't know, you know I'm bad at this. So um, I love you and I miss you and I can't wait to see you. Mwah. And it wasn't long after that that she approached me and told me how strong she thought I was and how her mom survived breast cancer and she told me that story and it I don't think she realized and probably still doesn't realize how much that encouraged me and how much that meant to me for someone who I barely knew at that time to come and make the effort to encourage me in that way and so for that I want to thank you because I probably never have. I think that Joanna is one of the funniest people I know. She's one of my best friends and I love her. <laughs> and and her dog. One of my more memorable moments with Joanna is getting super drunk and walking through an underground tunnel system through the city of Stephenville. Spending late nights with her at the JTAC while she screamed at Sean to do rickshaw and drag her across the room. <laughs> the best weekend ever when we basically stayed up for three nights in a row partying <laughs> before finals. I feel like I had another one, but I can't remember it. I have many fond memories of you from my childhood. 
most of which we had to follow your rules. From when you were a late night talk show host to whenever you built the apartment in Granny's parlor and at Joe's Bar and Grill, where you blended up everything in the refrigerator and we all had to drink it and pay for it. Um, Joanna means so much to me because she is definitely one of my best friends and she's always been there when I needed her, always has the right thing to say to make you feel better about yourself or to cheer you up. She's just a great person. Joanna means so much to me. Her friendship does. You came along at a point in my life when you know, I've really been questioning what I wanted to do and who I was and if this was the right decision for me to go to law school and you've just been encouraging and a light in my life every day. And your humor and kind heart inspire me. I would tell Joanna to just keep kicking ass and taking names because she's doing pretty great. <laughs> Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Joanna. <laughs> uh, we love you and hope you have a fabulous day. We miss you. Bye. Try not to break your femur. Love you. Miss you. Come to Steve Mill and see us, okay? To Dad and Bob. Hey. Love you. Bye. I've learned over the years that I can call you for anything. From advice, words of encouragement to bail money. You'll always be there for me, and I love you for that. You're the sister that I never had, and I love you very much. I hope you have a happy birthday, and I hope you graduate college soon. Love you. You're just gonna be a wonderful lawyer, and mom, and wife, and all those things, and love you so very, very much, and happy, happy birthday. Some encouraging words for you, keep being wonderful. I'm so happy for you, Walter, and I'm happy for all these exciting things coming your way. I mean, you're gonna change the world. You're gonna change a lot of people's hearts and lives. And I think that that is something not many people can say about their own lives. And I think that the way that you live your life is a wonderful example to everyone you encounter. And I hope that you have a special birthday and know how loved you are and just thankful for another year with you so happy birthday Joanna love you keep your confidence and people love you and I'm so happy that I had the chance to get to know you and I will be back in Norman in December so I expect to see you then but until then happy birthday I hope it's the best birthday you've ever had and I'll see you soon hey Joanna Wishing you the very best. We love you, gal. Happy birthday. Cheers. Girl, you may recognize many of the things in this room, many of the accomplishments, many of the things like me. Hey, wanted to wish you a happy 29th birthday. Tell you how much we love you, how much I'm proud of you, and how much for you to just keep on doing what you're doing and love you so much. And see you. Happy birthday. And also, get you a yellow uh, penalty flag and put in your back pocket to have handy wherever you are. My sister, I've, uh, I've known her for a long time. Great, great kid, sweet kid. What word could we use to summarize Joanna? I would say brutal, uh, tough person to be around. Not a lot going for her. I wouldn't say a lot of people have a lot nice to say about Joanna. Hey, you know, so there's that. She's got that going for her. She's one of those people, uh, you just you just love her through it, I guess. I fear her wrath, so she inspires me, and that she scares me. It makes me want to at least uh, be good at stuff, so she's nice to me. It's been a great influence to me in that way. Uh, but in all seriousness, Joanna has been uh, an amazing sister. I would not ask for anything different. She's always uh, been super encouraging. One year for my birthday, she sent me like eight birthday cards, so that was really nice. I love Joanna. I would not do anything for her. She thinks I hung the moon, and I, I don't know why. I see a lot of things in Joanna that, that I want to see myself. She's so driven. She knows what she wants, and uh, she has a plan, and uh, it's amazing. I think we could all uh, you know, use, use a little bit um, more of that in our lives is some of that, that drive and that dedication. Just to be great, because Joanna is so hungry and, and, and really wants that. I just love her, and I, I truly could not ask for a better uh, big sister or a, a better big brother. Just uh, couldn't ask for better siblings in general. And, and if there's one thing that I would leave her with, it's uh, 
And oh, sometimes I think about you And the way you used to write out In your rhinestones and your sequins And the sunlight on your hair And all the crowns and love you But that's for me I've come to know For everything that glitters it's not gold. Oh, everything that glitters is not gold. Love you. Most importantly, on your birthday, somebody's got to sing you the birthday song. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Joanna. Happy birthday to you. Hey, baby. Happy birthday. Um, as we finish this deal up, uh, I just want you to know how blessed I am um, to have you in my life. And uh, I just want you to know that um, no matter what, no matter what, I love you every day with every part of me. Um, you're a special human being. And God made you. Uh, there's not one like you. And, and I get to call you mine uh, for the rest of my days. And so um, I love you. A lot of people love you. And uh, I hope this video helps you understand how much they do love you. So happy birthday, uh, 27th birthday. I love you.